And we are live here at Lowe's. Hello, my friends out on the internet. Jeff here, and I've got uh, some more bargains to show you here tonight. I came in here, and I got to tell you, it's that really weird, eerie feeling, you know, when you're in a store alone, pretty much. I mean, take a look down the aisle here. Let me show you this. I think we're probably, hang on, let me flip the camera around here. I think we're like the only people around here, man. I could roll a bowling ball down the aisle here and not anybody. There's that weird sense of kind of emptiness when you walk in and, and you feel like you're one of the last few customers or something, even though the store is basically an hour away from closing, right? So anyway, uh, here we are at Lowe's. And we got a whole bunch of yellow stickers up that I wanted to point out to you. You know, we got the supposedly great deals coming up here from uh, President's Day sale here. But look at this. Uh, first up on the bat here, we have, and Connie says, can you check out the miter says, Yeah, I'm actually right around the corner from them, so we'll check them out in a second. Uh, we got these Jorgensen clamps here that are $18.98. They're $10 off here. I saw these guys first when I kind of walked around the, the bend here. And let me see what we got on the miter saws, because we're like standing right ne near them. So the only one that I really see, there's a couple of here that are on sale. You got this Matabo one here. Uh, you love those clamps there, David? Yep. Yeah. Uh, so here we got a, a Matabo 12 inch. This is a sliding compound miter saw here. This guy's 329, was 519. Let me give you the whole view of it right there. And is it a dual bevel though? Yes, it is. So there's one on one side and there's the bevel on the other side. Uh, the DeWalt 12 inches back up to $599. <clears throat> and we got Matubo has a 12 inch. This one has the laser too, but this is the, uh, this is not compound, I don't think. No. And this guy here is $199, marked down from $299. So, in terms of our miters, I be believe the only other one here would be this DeWalt. The only thing about the DeWalt though, see, this is a, a single bevel and if you ever have any inspiration of doing uh, baseboards you're going to have a really hard time with these i had a, a a single bevel and it was just a really pain pain to do baseboards with uh, but if you don't have a problem with that and you don't expect to ever do baseboards then you can get the single bevel but this guy here is 219 marked down from 299 this is a 10, no, this is a 12 inch. Okay, for a minute I thought it was a 10 inch. But yeah, these are the three that they have uh, down here. And then there's one other one here. This is a 10 inch Metabo, 89 bucks. Marked down from 149. So this is be a, a great little one just to like have on your bench, if, just to make simple cuts. Or if you're going somewhere to make uh, you know a bunch of small little cuts with and you don't want to lug a bigger one around, that's a, I mean, you can't beat that price. That's an incredible value right there on that guy. So, I don't know. Have uh, any of you guys seen our live broadcast that we've been doing throughout the week from our remodeling out of our friend's house? So his tenants finally moved in yesterday, even though the kitchen's not ready. Uh, we expect to have the kitchen ready this week, but, you know, we warned them ahead of time that they wouldn't have any cabinets for a while here. All right, so here you got the 10-inch Bosch table saw here. This guy here is 449. So he was he was 599 and this one does come with the the rolling but let me see that rolling feature there was the other DeWalt one. This one I don't think that it does come with the legs. They have it here on the display with the legs, but I was looking around and I nothing on here says that it comes with it. So I don't know, but anyway, this one here it's a 10 inch bench top table saw. This one is $299, marked down from $399. So, see here on the sign, they're just showing it by itself. And I'm looking at all like their selling points, and nothing here says that it has the stand or, or anything. So, I really don't know if it's coming with it or not. So, sometimes I've seen where they've put the table saws here on the stands, but it's not really all that clear. Um, now, here we have. The uh, Hitachi, they still have an, an Hitachi here. I guess this store hasn't cleared out all of the Hitachi stuff. So this is their rolling miter saw stand. 
and it's 159 marked down from 219 and they come around the back side because there was something else about the pricing on that DeWalt let's see it might give us a hint on the box see the box well this box does show it in the box so Craig says hello Jeff Craig from Canada big fan of yours really appreciate your work and big help to me thank you well good I'm glad to help out and let's see Nikki says thanks for these videos okay so this must be a pretty good special buy then if it yeah it comes with that stand Here's the, uh, is that that same one over there? The miter saw, um, the 12 inch double bevel. That's 349 for 549, so here's the box. So Lowe's, get, yeah, Lowe's does, that's right, Sandy, thanks for pointing that out. Lowe's does give um, military people 10% discount. So the difference between the the, the 715 and the D, oh, the, the S715? I believe the S probably means that it comes with a stand. Although sometimes with the wall, the S comes at the end, so I might be wrong. But like my tile saw is a is a D twenty four thousand S, and that S meant it was a kit that came with the stand because you can buy the D twenty four thousand without the stand. So that's a good question. We probably have to type it in and and see what it shows. But that would be my guess is that it comes with the stand. Okay, is this the yeah? That's this is just the back side of the display item there. Uh, I was walking down here the other day and I thought I saw a bunch of all right so here's the works Pegasus but you know what this thing hasn't dropped in price it's still 139 the lowest I've seen it was 99 here during the Black Friday sale and, it, and I was hoping it would have gotten lower than that but it it just didn't so I didn't pull the trigger and buy it I want to see what they got down here for these because I know some of these craftsmen are on sale here and let's see Hey, Jeff, compare the cobalt table stand with others. It's much more durable. Yeah, I might have to try that one sometime. And check out what we have right here, folks. I'm looking at two Lufkins here for how much? A pair of Lufkins for $15.98. So these were $24.98 before. So I remember these at uh, Black Friday. These were... I thought there were more. I thought I paid like 24. I don't know. So these are the black ones. And gosh, you know, they're ultra smooth. The mechanisms on these Lufkins are great. That's why I like them. I think I'm, I think I'm going to add this to my haul for tonight. Uh, so here we got. This one has a 41-inch wide. This is a four-drawer tool chest right here. And he right now is 389 Marked down from 549, and then down below it. So it's I guess it's 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 meant to be mated with this other one down here, and down below this guy here is 509 from 649. So this is the 41 inch. This is the eight drawer cabinet also. So this has like deeper stuff. You can put like a lot of your drills and stuff in here. Circular saws will fit in there. 10 inch deep drawer. Yeah. You could probably fit a couple of circ saws in there. Okay, now as we come around the corner, is this the same one? That's the same 40. No, this is a, a different one. Uh, hold on, because they look pretty close to, the, to being the exact same. No, they are, they're slightly different. So this one, this version of it, has the drawer taking up the full width of the front, right? This other one breaks it up, so you have sort of a wide drawer next to a smaller drawer. So this one is 349 from 449. Okay, and I, let me see if they put any of these other ones down this aisle on sale. Okay, so this one here is a 41 inch six drawer, so a little bit smaller. He's sitting on top of a, a bigger one here. But this one here is 289, marked down from 329. So anyway, I'm a happy camper getting these Lufkins. I can't have enough tape measures. I, I only seem to misplace them. I could have a dozen of them on one of my job sites and still not be able to find one. 
So here's the 135 piece right here. And uh, this one here is 99.98, marked down from 149. The one set that I had my eye on during Black Friday, but they never dropped the price on, was the uh, the gunmetal one. They never dropped the price of that. Okay, this is funny. I'm going to show you guys something here, and you can tell me which one you want. So here, this is actually a really nice set, and I like this because it has all these are all little tools that you can use for doing like electrical work and just you know manipulating wires and small things right there now look at this set now so this is what 1998 and somewhere right over here they have a craftsman version i swear it's the exact same set right here. oh yeah baby hold on so here's the craftsman version of this the exact same thing let me see if they have the cobalt sitting right here yeah they do so you have your choice they both come with that zippered case, although I think that case is a little big. What I do is I fit this in my little electrical bag. I, I fit these little guys in there. So I might just, I don't know if I want to get this. I might wait, come back when I have a coupon. But I just thought it was interesting that it's the exact same thing here as the Cobalt. Look at them. Exact same tools there. It just looks uh, maybe slightly different. And my mate, are they arranged different? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, I think they're just arranged different. But it's the exact same tools. Gotta be. So it's probably made by the same company. Which one's cheaper? Okay, so the Craftsman one is $21.98. The Cobalt one is $19.98. So it depends on, hey, do you like blue or do you like red? You know? Some people don't like the Craftsman name anymore. I get a lot of comments on my videos that say, Oh, Craftsman's trash now, blah, 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 made in China, blah, blah, blah. And pretty much everything's made in China. What he is going to do? Hey, the way I see it, if a pair of pliers works and does the job and, and gets you through the day and you get paid for it at the end of the day, then it, it did its job. It satisfied its quota. Okay, so this little piece... Uh, I have a little kit like this. I like these because they're, they have so many bits in them and they're just super tiny. And they're great for throwing into an extra pocket in one of your bags. Yeah. Let me check in and see who's saying hello, hello. LV Crew says hello, everyone. And where's the Craftsman made? I believe the Craftsman is, is in China. Uh, let me see if it's... Uh, yeah, because I remember checking it out the other day when I was in here. And let me see if the cobalt says anything. Oh man, my I, my eyes can't read this. Let me see if it says, yeah, made in China, right there on the lower left, see it? Made in China. So it's probably the same company making it for both of them. I doubt that either of them is really making it. Man, is this really the kit that I paid like 21 bucks for during Black Friday? It's back up to 34.98. I gotta. I still gotta do a review. I'm gonna do a tool review of like all the kit boxes that I have of all the the drill accessory kits and just kind of give an opinion on on which one is better. All right. So now we have this is a, a pretty big set here. It's got like a, a sampling of different types of of the bit accessories. So this one here is twenty four ninety eight down from thirty four. But yeah, I like. So you got a sampling of drill bits here. You got some spade bits here. You got socket bits here. It's pretty interesting how they've they've got the socket bits kind of intermixed with the other ones. You think everything would sort of be more or less uh, side by side. So here's that gunmetal chrome one. This is not the one that I was watching at uh, Black Friday time. I think it was a smaller kit. I think it was this one. This is the one that they never dropped the price of. So, hey there from Terry and Edwina Evans from Miami. Hey, you guys aren't too far south of me. I was just down there last month and had dinner at Joe Stone Crab. First time ever. Holy cow, that was that place awesome. Supposed to be like in the top five grossing restaurants in the U.S. All right, so this kit here is $5 off. But, you know, I think this has been at this price. I, I know I've seen this kit for a while. This is a nice one to just throw in your trunk for, like, emergencies or something. 
if you, you know, you get your teenager has their new car and uh, you just want them to have a little lifeboat tool set in there to, to keep things going if they have a breakdown. Uh, I want to see what we got over here. Oh, yeah, so there was a new uh, display up here from DeWalt. And let's see, the, the blades here, okay, these two... I'm kind of kicking myself for not buying this when I had the chance, but Black Friday, man, these were 39 bucks, and right now they're 59.98. But that's okay. I mean, I still have my new saw, and I haven't really broken into it yet to to be in the position to need another blade. Let's see. Okay, so we got this Dewalt kit right here. This is a four-tool brushless kit. This is $2.99 markdown from a $3.49. And Rich Proctor says, hello, Jeff. No, how do they survive? You know, I wonder that too. Because when I used to go to the Orchard Supply Store, or I think they called it Orchid Supply. That was a Lowe's-owned company. They had one near us, and I loved that place. It was like a smaller version of Lowe's. But they went under, and they seem to have more people in there than this store does. That's for sure. Okay, so that's the tool two. Uh, I'm sorry, the four tool combo kit is two ninety nine. Now we have another brushless six tool kit here. It's fifty bucks off. So this one is four forty nine, marked down from four ninety nine. Now let me see. You're getting the looks like just a drill driver. I don't believe that's the hammer drill on there, but you're getting an impact, a uh, circ saw, sawzall, multi tool. I mean that's pretty much. Man, if you're just starting out, and, that, and that's a good good package to get right there. And I'm pretty sure, I don't know what model they're using on that, but if it's anything like the one I reviewed like a month ago, those those electronic brakes on there are incredible. You take your finger off the trigger, and it, it like instantly stops. It's pretty amazing, because my old circular saw would take about 12 seconds to come to an, an end, and I used to be too paranoid to put it down or anything. I would just wait till the blade stops. So, yeah, so the 449, that's what they're showing on their display stand right there. That's the, the big kit. So, and, you know, keep in mind, it comes with two batteries and a charger also. And I can't tell the model number of the, uh, of that Cirque saw to see if it's the same one that I reviewed. So there's the, the four tool right there. So it also comes with a, a charger and I believe two batteries. So just remember, you know, these kits don't come with enough batteries for all of the tools in there. So you'll probably want to go grab their set of batteries. Okay. And now we have some cobalt. Buy one, get ones. Let me see what this one is. Okay, so if you buy the battery kit here, this is, this is kind of like all the ones we saw at, at you know Black Friday. You buy the battery starter kit with the two 4.0 amp hour, and you get to choose one of these tools here free. I don't know which one I would get, you know. I don't know how good they're, it's a brushless circ saw, but I don't, I've never seen it in action, so I don't know how, how good the braking is on it. I'm not sure which one of these I would get as the freebie. But it looks like they're all brushless, everything in here, on this whole thing here. So it says up to 129. So I guess if you wanted to maximize it, you find the most expensive one, and that would be your free tool that you get in there. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I have daughter with me. We're supposed to be going to 7-Eleven for Slurpees and snacks afterwards. No. Okay, um, we're heading over towards some of the of the. They got a, a new display here on lighting, but they've also got some discounts on the the yard machines and stuff. Hey, wait, where's that Irwin? I just walked right past the Irwin. I think it was funny because I was gonna do the tool. Re I was gonna film a tool review on it today. Where is that Irwin thing? Oh yeah, this one here, the vice grip. So, uh, I have the bigger one, actually. It's this one. I was getting ready to film. I had everything all set up today. I had the camera outside on the tripod, and it started raining. 
So I was actually going to film the beginning of my tool review for that. So that's probably going to have to wait now through part of the next week. I have so many things in my garage right now that I haven't even... I have not even unboxed my big flex bolt saw there, the, the 12-inch one, to, to start that one going. I love bringing my daughter. I love uh, spending time with her. All right, so here is the lighting. I wanted to show you this because they just set up this thing here. I don't know if they have this in the Lowe's near you guys, but there's, you're starting to see a lot of these light bars and stuff. Now, these are cool because what I experimented with on some of my flips recently was like these battery-powered LED pucks that you just stick on the bottom of the cabinets in the kitchen, and it's supposed to light up the counter. But I found out that they weren't quite all that great. You know, they were just like, eh. But now, now you're starting to see a lot of these, and I was kind of avoiding these because I didn't want to start, you know, doing more and more wiring under the kitchen counters. However, now you're starting to see some of these that are rechargeable. So this one up here is a battery bar. It's a rechargeable one. It's 20 bucks. Of course, they don't have it on right now, so you can't see if it's bright enough or not. But certainly, you know, some of these other plug-in bars are bright enough. And then you got this guy right here. I like some of these things here too. It's probably flickering too. Uh, you don't see it flickering with your eye, but it's the camera's shutter speed that's not syncing with the LED refresh rate. But anyway, so these these tape lights are these are 29 bucks, seven feet long. So that would handle going all the way across the bottom of your your cabinets. Or if you're going to build a niche in your bathroom, you you would tuck these way up high in the niche. But anyway, it looks, yeah, these are pretty nice. And they, they just built this display here, too, for all of these other LED lights. But usually, um, what's interesting is Lowe's normally has nicer designs than Home Depot for, for lights. But, but for most of these, they look kind of plain. These are just, like, plain Jane. And I think, like, the price of this guy is, like, overpriced for what it is. This is interesting. Just, just you know, plastic thing. It's about an inch and a half thick would go on like your kitchen ceiling there and they have these two here I don't know if you can see these have a really bad hot spot see that dark hot spot on that light and the big square one up there has a big hot spot in the middle that looks just blue it's like very discolored and yellow so I certainly wouldn't pay a hundred and oh wait wait what's the price on that one on Z they don't have a price on him I guess uh, they're not showing the price whatever it is I wouldn't pay it because those just do not look good. But yeah, these are... I was in here with my friend the other day. We were trying to pick out some uh, lighting here for his, his kitchen ceiling there. Yeah, press the like button, guys. I know. She's ready to go. She's like, Dad, can we go? Can we go? I didn't say anything. Okay. And... They've got this cool... This is slay, the Slinger here. These are really badass looking fans. They're $2.99. Then they're like big stainless steel fans here, 72 inch. These will, or they look like they're meant to be used outside here. And then here on the other side here, they got the darker one here. And these guys are $2.99. So they have the LED ceiling fan too. So what I like about, um, now I haven't actually looked at one of these yet and worked with one but what I like about these newer ceiling fans that you're starting to see now is see if you can get them with the LED light built into it and no chains that way the lighting and the fan speed and everything is controlled by the remote you see so the remote does everything you don't have to mess with chains anymore and the newer fans are lighter lighter now because they don't have all those big glass alabaster things on them and weighing them down okay so they brought out some pressure machines here and they got some brushless electric ones here so this is the greenworks pro and this one actually i don't know if it's a floor mod oh it's a return so they got it marked down at 250 from 299 so this one here is a 2300 psi 2.3 gallons per minute it's not too bad considering it's electric i'm still unconvinced though whether 2300 is enough PSI to clean a darkened uh, sidewalk. So, 
Yeah, normally she has a lot of fun here with me. Today she's a little tired. Little tired. All right, so here we have another green. Is that the same one? Let me see. No, this is a 2700 PSI. So this guy is on clearance. So they've marked it down from 399 down to 349 for this one here. Yard tools in the winter? Well, you know, we're in South Florida, so there really is no winter. Winter was about two weeks ago. It lasted about 45 minutes. So here, winter is from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Spring is from 9 a.m. to noon. Summer is from noon until 4. And then you have fall. <laughs> All right, so here we got a, they lowered the price here on a couple of uh, cobalts. So this, the only thing is these are only 20 inch wide. So if you have a really small yard, that's fine. If you have a bigger yard, you know, people tend to prefer the larger, larger decks on these. So this is marked down 20 bucks here. And let me see, that one was, yeah, I think all of these are the same. These are all the 20 inch here. Oh, they do have an 80 volt. That one's the 40 volt. And then they have this one's, that's a 40 volt, but they got an 80 volt back here. Okay, so the 80 volt is marked down from 599 down to 569. Also, here you can see they got them all up on the walls and everything, too. So this whole area, they've just, in the past couple of weeks, probably getting ready for uh, President's Day tomorrow. And oh, what do I spy over there? I have to walk around to get to it. But they have the surface cleaners too. See, so what I've been telling people, and I, it just blows my mind, guys. Have you ever gone somewhere and you've seen where somebody pressure cleaned, like a sidewalk in front of a store or something, and you see all the stripes on the, on the floor there because they use the wand instead of the surface cleaner? It just blows my mind how many people are just so brain dead when it comes to that. So this is a good one here. You got this surface cleaner right here. This is a 15 inch surface cleaner. This is what you're supposed to use on the sidewalks, guys. And I like that this one's on wheels. So it probably wheels around very, very easily. And I would certainly get that one over the Greenworks um, unless the Greenworks is a proprietary connection. I don't, I don't know if that's proprietary or not to them. It looks kind of like the standards uh, just clip on. But anyway, so this guy here is 149. They don't even have the sign up on it yet. So he's 149. And now this one's smaller. This is the 11 inch from Greenworks and it's 29.98. So I'd be interested to see how well that guy really works. I get really um, suspicious when I see a price that low on something that I know is normally a lot more money. Okay, on the Craftsman 163, this is the 21 inch wide deck. So this one is basically 10 bucks. I don't know, why do they bother printing these yellow stickers for something that's only 10 bucks off? Now it says proudly made in the USA with global materials. The only thing is I don't like the Briggs and Struggling engines. Every Briggs and Struggling engine I ever had. That's why I call on that because I struggle to get them started. Okay, so we got the kit here. This is the 40 volt max kit. And it's 229 marked down from 269 so this one has the blower and it also comes with a 4 amp hour battery and this is the 13 inch cut path here on the on the the trimmer here so that's a nice little combo if you're going to adopt their system and you, and you just buy both of them and yeah that's the the box for the 80 volt so we're going to come back around over this way and see what else we got. So they started bringing in already some of the the patio stuff. I noticed probably none of none of it's going to be on Celia because they just got it in. This doesn't look too bad, but you know the one thing I don't like, guys, I just don't like this wicker look. You know, maybe some people like it, but it seems like both Lowe's that's metal, that's cool, that's simulated wood, so it probably won't wear down. But but look at this, like Lowe's, Costco, and and Sam's Club have all got these wicker furniture things now. So it seems like they all kind of follow each other. This one looks a little more fancier. And I'm digging these big cushions. And you got the nice welting right here along the front. That's what I like about it. See that welting? These welting, they look like little ropes here. 
these kind of keep the shape better and they make it a little firmer there. Yeah, the wicker stuff dries up fast. Well, let me see if it's real wood. Sometimes they make this stuff out of like a tough plastic. This might be. It's a woven padded chair. And the other thing too is see, I wouldn't get anything like this down here in Florida because it's so hot and humid out. You, if you ever sat out there in shorts, you'd be sticking to it. So you would have to get something with a cushion on it. All right. Moving along up here. I wonder how many grills they sold for Super Bowl here. Now these, they all say lower price. The, this one's $16.99 and $13.99. But they don't have what it originally was or what it was dropping down to. And let me see if what they have for the blowers. See if there's any bargains on the blowers. All right, so this one we showed you already. That was the 569 one. And this one was the one that was also on the floor over there. Okay, here's their blowers. And man, they have it like really dark back here. I mean, Home Depot has them all lit up and everything. Not one of these is on sale right now or anything. No discounts to be had. Uh, what do we have? Well, that's that same kit I showed you, the, the 40 volt max kit there. Let me see, was there one of these other ones? Yeah, that's the same. Yeah, this is a 24 volt kit. So this one's down. This this has kind of been this price for months. I've seen this price here. 169, marked down from 199. Some of these, when you see them, you kind of wonder, hmm, I never saw it at 199. When was it ever at that price? So is it really a quote, new lower price? And then right around the corner here, we got, I think this is where they had some of those, uh, the faucets there. So they got some, uh, at first I, I saw the yellow tickets and I thought, oh wow, these are on sale, but they're not. It's if you buy like a contractor price, if you buy, I think three of them, they give you a contractor price on them. And then here, Moen's got a deal going here. So you choose one from 149 uh, these are your fancier uh, kitchen faucets here. So there's three different models of this one. And so there's the, the new price there. Now, 149 is actually a pretty good price because it's hard to find of this kind of shape and style for your kitchen faucets. It's hard to find them really under 200 or, and, and even harder under 180, actually. But to get it at 149 is pretty decent because Costco had one from Delta and it was like their magnetic, it was the pull down with the magnetic thing where you, I think they call it Magnadoc, I forget the, the name they use, but it just pops right back in there. So you have that one and then they got this Adler one and I believe, what's, the, this is bronze and it looks really, really classy. Okay. Now the, the the thing about the faucets, when they put them on sale here at Lowe's and Home Depot, is they're typically only like 10 or $20 off. So to get this one 20 bucks off, okay, that's decent. And this one's $30 off. Now, normally bronze is a premium price. They usually sell for more. So that was a pretty good deal to get that for uh, that price. And then, if you remember, the other reason I came in today was I'm kind of scouting for over at my friend's house. So they got this... Um, these deals here on the appliances and they always do this on like President's Day. So if you were thinking of getting appliances or anything, I would get in here even tomorrow. Don't wait till President's Day, which is uh, Monday, I think. Don't wait till then because all of the, the deliveries start, the, uh, the delivery appointments start to fill up and you'll end up waiting, you know, God knows how long. I, I went through that one time and it was like a two a week wait. But yeah, this is a pretty good deal to get the fridge there at $600 off so the idea is to make sure as you're walking down the aisle and you'll see the signs all over the place on each one of these appliances you know who's dropping in price from what to where and and they have free local delivery on these two but you just make sure it's in stock 
I always walk around with the guy and I and I, I have him check these if it's in stock. Because if it is, they can deliver it the next day as long as there's not like a huge backlog for them. But most of the times when, I, when I'm doing my flips and I order the four appliance suites, that's what we do is uh, we just have it, you know, it's, I'm in here today and it's in my house tomorrow. It's unbelievable how quick it is. Okay, these I think are a little overpriced. So, but anyway, they've got them marked down from 69 bucks. But you know what? I'm normally buying lights like this at Costco for like 25 bucks. And when they're on sale every other month at Costco and they drop down to 19.99, I come in and I'll buy two of them. But let me see. Is there two of these in there? If there's two, then, then that's probably okay. Let me see. No, it just says there's one. Yeah, so that is, that is kind of overpriced, I think. I don't think they should be priced this much. I mean, there's nothing special about these. All of these types of lights that are LED are fine. And by the way, if you guys ha have any of your old hall lights up there with the light bulbs in them, get rid of them and get one of these because these are just so incredible. They light more evenly, and you never have to climb up there again to change the light bulbs because what they have in here is chips, LED chips that are arranged around in a circle typically. And boom, see, that's why it says on here, no bulbs to replace. That's what you want to get. I don't mess around with light bulbs anymore. I am I don't even want to have to go to the store to buy a bulb to replace one and then climb up on the ladder again. If I'm climbing up on the ladder, it's to install the light once and for all, and that's it. Okay, so you got this essentials kit here. <laughs> like the bottle opener is an is a, an essential tool that goes along with your screwdriver and your wire strippers here. 11 one uh, multi-tool wire stripper here. Yeah, so this it's an interesting kit. I had I got that channel lock kit that has the three sets of channel locks in it, or is it two? I think it's three channel locks and a bottle opener that they had here at Lowe's last summer. I got it for like twenty bucks. All right, so this kit is twenty nine ninety eight, marked down from thirty nine. And again, look at the whole back aisle. I think we're the only ones in here. And it was funny, I was looking at some of these signs here that they still can't sell. They've even got a mark for five bucks. So take a look at this one. You got this North Pole sign here left over from Christmas. Five bucks. Can't get rid of it. Gather. They have a gather sign. I want one that says from Russia with love. Look at this one's two bucks right here. I just went into Sam's last week and I thought I saw signs that said gather or something similar to that. That were like, you know, 20 bucks in there. So yeah, you come back here into the, the back section here where you have all of these, you can get some really, really good discounts. And look, even some of these here. This one's down to five bucks. You got this one here. I think that's uh, Spanish, maybe. So my daughter's looking at this one here. How much is that one? $14.98, what? No, I <laughs> want it for two bucks. These are new, that's why. These will come down in price. We got it. Are you really? Yes, we're not going to get that one. If it comes down to five bucks, we'll get it. They also have some nice canvas prints here. I want to Got some nice pillows. All right, so look at this. Here's, I guess their clearance section is so overflowing that they had to put some of the stuff out onto these cards here. But look at this. You got a case of Levelor blinds here. These are really narrow ones. These are $19.99 was 79 hold on check this price out now what kind of these are natural shade but i don't know what these are what they look like if they're white or if that's if they're showing the actual picture of it there doesn't look very appealing but i mean that's a pretty decent price if you're just looking for some uh cheap shade cover yeah see that's they're showing it in action there on a window it looks kind of eh. That's a really narrow focused audience that would buy that kind of stuff. But they have all of them on sale. Look at these. Marked down from 158 all the way down to 4475. Yeah. Yeah, if you I was looking back at some of the comments and um, I see that uh Jizidu, he says I live in Arizona and the sun kills it. The problem with Arizona is also the dry climate there. 
And because of that, you have a hard time with wood flooring there. You have to have a humidifier in the room if you put in wood flooring. So I used to be on some of the forums and see people complaining about their wood flooring. They'd complain about, you know, oh, lumber liquidators. Oh, they sold me this crap flooring and it, it warped up on me and blah, blah, blah. And it's like they didn't even read the instructions that says you've got to have a certain humidity level in the room before you can even install the wood flooring. Right. So what have we got here? Mostly just a bunch of little... Got some safety gear here, filtration masks. Anything useful? No, they got some ear muffs. Oh, that one's got a radio built into it. I've already got enough ear muffs, so I want to check out this. My eye is being drawn to something over here, guys. Check this out. This is this is a nice little contraction. I didn't actually know that Odie made one of these. This is called Perfect Slope. So if you're ever gonna do a shower instead of you know forming a little bit of cement to make your pre-slope you put this down and this will be your pre-slope so your subfloor is here then comes this thing the pre-slope and then you put your shower pan liner over it next and then you, you do your mud bed on top of that okay so this sets the perfect slope for you it's perfectly engineered now they're asking let me see $54, so this was $74.98 before. That's actually a pretty good deal. This is, uh, is this a 24 by 20? No, it says it fits a 40 inch by 40 inch, so the thing unfolds out, you know, and you just cut it to whatever size you need it. That's a, that's actually pretty cheap, because, you know, some of those Schluter, I was usually using the Schluter shower pans before, and that whole kit's expensive. If you, you buy that entire kit, you're looking at 500 bucks, but of course it comes with the curb, and all that other stuff. I saw something here a minute ago that looked like it was part of a P trap. Maybe not. So we got some Burnzo going here. You got a, you got a whole. Is that the whole torch kit? Yeah, looks like it. Sixty nine ninety eight. That says everyday low price, so I don't really know how much. And they got a welding helmet here. That's 47 bucks. I think that's this cobalt right here. So this welding helmet right here was $119. So that looks like a pretty good deal if you do welding. But I could have sworn I saw something here a minute ago that had a P. There it is. I was looking at this guy here. The double-ended tube. I guess they don't have any. I guess it was just the box for it, but that could be something that can be useful because if you have a, a sink that's off-centered a little bit, this can help you and it can help extend your, your distance too. All right, what else have we got on there? I think that's it for the clearance section. Oh, she wants to go back towards the pillows. So... What I was surprised is that there wasn't really any advertising in there. Uh, like, uh, in this local ad this week, it's all about the appliances. And traditionally, that's sort of what it's been on, on President's Day. So you got all of these different uh, appliances for sale. So I guess that's what they focus on at that point in time. All right, so I think we have everything we need. We've covered everything. And as usual, folks, we appreciate each and every one of you being here with us tonight uh, on a busy Saturday night. And we're going to be keeping you up to date on that project that we're doing over at our friend's house this week. So we've got a lot of videos that we've been filming and unfortunately just haven't had the time to upload them all. But we try to do little live updates from them in the middle of them while we're working on them. And you see what else we got right here. She's looking over at the big old carpets and the big old pillows yeah they're still trying to dump all of the, the Christmas pillows here all right well anyway folks thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you guys all on the next one have a great Saturday night and a better weekend and a very safe President's Day we'll see you on the next time these are only six dollars